Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today we are going to take a close-up look on all the products included in the new Tonic Craft Kit and I'm also going to share three cards using these products. This is actually a monthly subscription kit but it is without contract so you can stop at any time. Now along with all the products in the kit there is always a mystery product which is a gift and it is never announced or, re or revealed. So I'm not going to say what it is for this month but I'm sure you will all love it. So let's start with these two little pots. You get the mini embellishment mousse in aloe vera, that's the name of the color, as well as the mini glimmer paste in seaweed quartz. Now, a fun thing about all those kits is that um, you get the chance to try out new colors, brand new colors that are not uh, yet out in the market. So let's move on to the next uh, two pots. Now, this is glitter. This is also a new color. It's called Prickly PR and you get so much product in this jar that it will last you forever. You will also get another pot with a sequence inside in uh, again the same color, prickly PR, so everything matches nicely. So I'm just going to take it out of uh, the packaging there, so you can see how shiny they are, perfect for shaker cards. And I'm actually going to use this product in uh, one of the cards that I will share later on. Now you will also get two uh, packages of uh, mini Nouveau Drops. The one I'm opening now is the mini Glitter Drop in Holiday Cheer. And you will also get a mini Crystal Drop in Olive Branch. Now just because those mini bottles are quite milky outside, you can't really tell the colors, so I will sample them for you. The kit is number 11 and it's uh, the July kit. If you buy it now, it will start shipping on the first week of July. And um, for crafty companies, July is actually Christmas. It's always Christmas in July since this is when they usually uh, release their uh, Christmas products. And that's why this kit has a look and feel of uh, Christmas. It's very festive, but can be used also for winter cards. Your kit will also come with one aqua flow pen from this festive season set. I do have all three of them because they sent them so that I can sample them for you. But in your kit, you will get randomly one of those three colors. Now to use them, you have to take out all those um, yellow rings and then you have to squeeze just a little bit on the side where it says push. If you never tried aqua flow pens before, it's a great chance to try them out because they have actually real brass and uh, they work as watercolors with the watercolor inside the barrel. So I'm just going to squeeze on the side, do it only once and you will see that the color will start to flow all the way to the brush. Now I'm not working on a watercolor paper, I'm just going to sample them on a scrap piece of paper that I have on my table. But uh, you can see the beautiful colors of all those three aqua flow pens and one of them is coming inside your kit. In the kit there is also a clear stamp set. Uh, there is a lovely mistletoe design that you can color in with your aqua flow pens or any other type of uh, coloring medium. There are uh, lovely designs to embellish your cards, a sentiment that says uh, winter wishes as well as snowflakes. And here is an envelope with holes that you can uh, organize it inside a ring binder which is full of dice. One thing I'm always excited about these craft kits by Tonic Studios are the dice. They are always packed with beautiful dice that you can use. And let's take a look at these ones. Now I'm going to take them all out. You will see that they have beautiful designs. This has a lovely curve on the top and at the bottom, which is not going to cut out. It's only going to cut out the inside detail with all those snowflakes. Here is another one and if you move them around you will find that the nest inside the other. This has a lovely design with uh, mistletoes. Here is a smaller one and again all these dies will not going to cut the top, the bottom or the right and left. They are only going to give the, this beautiful uh, detail as if it is a lace on top of your card. 
Now you will also get two of those thin dies. These are going to be nested on top or at the bottom of uh, your other dies and they are going to actually cut. One of them has a straight line and the other one has a scalloped edge. I'm actually going to create three cards using most of these dies because I fell in love with them and you will see how you can put everything together in different ways. So this is another beautiful border and uh, you can see how awesome these dies are. I think that just the dies in this kit can justify the price of it. And you also get a lovely die with uh, bells. Now I'm going back to the clear stamp set for a moment just to show you all those lovely curves that uh, are along those designs and these are actually made like that so that they can nest in the curves of all those dies so I'm sure that uh, there is a lot of thought on uh, designing this kit so everything matches beautifully together. Now there are actually 8 dies in the die set and 10 stamps in the clear stamp set and all of them are exclusive to this kit so you will not be able to get them separately. Now let's take a quick look on the cardstock. This uh, is olive green and brick red. This is a pearlescent cardstock which is called Rusted Crimson and you can see how beautifully everything binds together. Now this is amazing. This is actually specialty paper which is embossed. It's called Evergreen Fear and you get three of those specialty papers. And here is another beauty. This is the red berries, again a specialty paper which is embossed and you get two of those. Now again, these are not uh, available yet in the market, so you get to play with them first. So these were all the products included in the craft kit for the month of July. And don't forget that's not all. You will also get the mystery gift which I'm not going to reveal. So now I'm going to make three cards using uh, lots of the dies so you can see how we can put everything together. The cards are going to be quite simple but really striking. So I'm starting out with uh, a cardstock from the kit. I'm going to cut it out to be a four and a quarter by five and a half as I want to have a panel for a standard card. For this panel I'm going to combine two of the dies from the kit. The white one that has all those leaves on top these can be mistletoes, but they can be just leaves, so you can uh, use them more uh, throughout the year. Now, I'm also going to use one of uh, the thin dies at the bottom, which is going to cut out a lovely curve. I'm going to pop out all those little pieces, and I'm going to place it on top of a contrasting card, so you can see how beautiful this detail looks. I'm going to create a few of those panels, and then I will turn them into cards. So here is one. Now let's create a, another panel for a second card. This time I'm going to use this beautiful specialty paper. I'm going to cut out just a small panel out of it. And now I have a white panel that's uh, the standard card size. I'm going to place this beautiful die on top. Secure it with some purple tape and run it through my die cutting machine. And look how gorgeous this is and it is quite um, versatile as well as it doesn't shout Christmas to me. It looks like leaves. Now this is a cardstock that I have uh, left over from a previous kit and uh, I'm going to place on top one of those uh, dies, the white ones with the snowflakes. I am going to secure them with some purple tape, run them through my die cutting machine. And I end up having this beautiful lace with snowflakes. I'm just popping out all those little pieces carefully. This is a very intricate die and the design is just gorgeous. So now let's turn all three of those panels into cards. For my first card I'm going to add some uh, Nouveau Deluxe at the back of uh, the panel I created with the olive green card that was in the kit and I'm going to place it directly on top of a card. The card I'm using is um, four and a quarter by five and a half in size and uh, I have created it with a cream color cardstock. Now this is looking gorgeous as it is but I want to cut out the actual uh, flap of the card so I'm going to nest the same die on top. I'm going to secure it with uh, some purple tape and run it again through my uh, die cutting machine. Make sure that you open up your card, otherwise you will cut out the back. 
And you can see now how gorgeous it looks. It works uh, vertically or horizontally. It has this lovely curve at the top and you can uh, uh, add your sentiment pretty much anywhere, depending on the orientation of your card. Now I decided to go with a cutout that I had in my stash. I cut it out using the same cardstock, the olive green one, and I have placed it on the inside flap of my card just for the fun of it. And now I'm going to add a dot of uh, white glue along this beautiful design and then I'm going to stick a sequin on top of it. And that's the finishing touch on my card which is going to add some sparkle. Moving on to the next card, I'm going for a shaker card now, so I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back all around the edges of this uh, cutout and now I'm going to place my acetate and I will use my foam tape to go all around and create a little nest so that I can add inside my confetti. Now the design on my cutout is uh, all about snowflakes, so I decided to go with ice white confetti. This is actually a jar from the Golden uh, Years set. And I'm just scooping out a few of those uh, confetti inside my pocket there. I covered up my window and then uh, stuck it on top of my card base. I actually created my card base from uh, specialty glitter paper and it looks so shiny and all those uh, sparkling confetti inside the window makes it gorgeous. Now as a sentiment I decided to go with a cutout from a die that I had in my stash forever that says Joey. I'm just going to stick it there and keep everything nice and simple. And now let's move on to the third card for today. Now I have already cut out this uh, panel from this gorgeous specialty paper. I'm using some uh, Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back and I'm going to stick it at the very bottom of my card base. And then on top I'm going to add the panel that I have already cut out. Just because I want to have a little bit of dimension I'm going to stick it with foam tape at the back. Now I'm using the mini glitter drop in holiday cheer and I'm going to add a little dot on the berries. I deliberately don't cover the whole berry as I want to have that white border around the dot which is going to define it even more. And of course you have plenty of space to add your sentiment, either stamp it or just die cut it and stick it like I did here. Uh, in this case I cut out the word greetings which I am sticking just underneath that beautiful border. And here are all the three cards that I made for today, all clean and simple using uh, dies from the kit just to show off how beautiful these dies are. Now down below you will find links to both the UK and the US Tonic uh, Studios uh, shop. If you live in the US then you can order it from there, but if you live outside the US then you need to order from the UK and they will ship it worldwide. Hope you had fun that you got inspired, thank you all so much for joining me today and have a lovely day.